Hi, I'm Heidi Borchers. For the holidays, I love to give handmade gifts. And mosaic is one of my favorites, so my family gets lots of mosaics. Today's project you can use for the garden art, or you can use it for a doorstop. For my doorstop, I chose just two colors of stained glass pieces. I thought it'd be really cool to just have the difference between the two colors. It's really easy to do. You glue it on, and then you grout it. It's super, super simple. So I found these really cool half bricks and they're going to work perfect for my project. So the first thing I want to do is to trace on the pattern. I've started to glue on my pieces of stained glass and all you do is put a little, little bit of glue and then put it into place. And you just continue on your pattern placing your pieces. Your background's going to be white and you put those on. And you continue to glue all these pieces on the top and on the sides. If you need to cut any of the stained glass pieces to fit into the little places, just use a wheeled tile nipper and you just cut. And then you can place them in and so you can fit anything that you want. Now also, I don't put these very far apart. I, I'd leave just a tiny bit of space in between. So I have all my pieces glued on the sides, on the top, up on the top, and I am ready to grout. I've already mixed my grout with a little bit of water, and it is the sanded grout. I like the sanded grout a little bit better than the non-sanded. And all you're going to do is just put some on and then push it into all the holes. And if your pieces have been cut, then don't, don't push too hard. You don't want your fingers to get cut by the pieces, but... Uh, just kind of push it in, that's all you want to do right now, until you completely have all the grout on. So make sure you take off all the excess, make sure there's no little holes in there, they're all filled up, and that all your edges have a little bit of grout in them and that you can't see any of the edges of the tile pieces. And we are ready to wipe it off with a sponge. Always keep some clear water and just a little sponge and squeeze out as much water as you can because you don't want any more water on the piece and it's just a, like one stroke like that one stroke if you have excess put it off on the side of the, the grout and again keep your sponge clean but do not keep any excess water on it and don't scrub it it's just a couple little swipes now you'd let it dry you're going to just let the grout dry till it's uh, cloudy and sometimes I hurry that up with a hair dryer. My grout has been applied and I've dried it with a hair dryer to make it fast where I can clean it up. So now you can either use Q-tips or take a paper towel and just go over the pieces. Now remember the grout is still wet, but at least you can undo and see what you've got. Now I would definitely do all my real cleanup the next day, like wait for 24 hours, and this is just to kind of help you see what you've done. I've let this set overnight. When you let it set overnight, then you can do a final cleaning by using Windex, and you just spray the Windex on and wipe it off, and you get all that excess grout film off. Now, if you want to use this for outside for like garden art, you're going to put a sealer on it. And you would want a grout sealer that would be used for tile and you just wipe it on and then just kind of wipe off the the pieces if you just want to use this for a doorstop it's going to be inside i always put a piece of felt to the back of it i wonder who i'm going to give this to i'm heidi borchers and i think it's cool to craft